And so in this video, we'll be looking at coherence mode, as well as Madly, and full screen and window mode. Par my Parallels Desktop Virtual Machine for Windows XP Professional is shut down. What we want to do is we want to start it up, so we'll right click and say start on the Parallels Virtual Machine list. And it's going to start up our Windows XP Professional that we created. If I want to now talk about this list of virtual machines here. At the bottom you have this plus symbol which allows you to add or create new virtual machines. This folder allows you to open virtual machines. You can also download virtual machine uh, parallels of virtual appliances and favorite applications which you can customize. Now that we have Parallels Tools installed that we did in a couple of videos back, we can customize and resize the window. Here's a quick tip. Um, I had have, I'm very picky about the way my icons look on my desktop. And I noticed that if you move your recycling bin to the far right, and or any icons to the far right and you go into full screen mode you see that it doesn't look right it's all the way it's in the same position and it hasn't changed since we left from the window mode the best way to fix this to make sure your icons stay the way you want them to stay is to right click in your windows operating system and say auto arrange and this will autom uh, arrange your icon in a nice grid so no matter where your icons are they're going to stay in the right order you place them. That's just a quick tip um, because I am very picky with how my icons look. So we went into full screen mode and right here we have window mode. I'm going to create a new folder here on my Mac. And what's nice about this is that we can go ahead and we can drag and drop files and folders from our uh, Mac into our Windows operating system. And we notice that a new folder has been sent in. You can do this with text, you can do this with files, you can do this with folders, images, audio, video. It's very nice and if you want more information on this you can go ahead and go to the Parallels website which they discuss this in a lot more detail than I can and this is very useful um, very very useful so we'll delete this basically it makes a copy another thing before we get into coherence and the other stuff is that we have here a hard disk icon with the Parallels logo this is access to your local disk C in your Windows operating system and we can go ahead and view users and so forth so what if we want to go to the administrator desktop create a new folder there and we'll notice that a new folder has been placed here so you can manipulate the operating system let's get rid of that on your Mac and which is a, and that's a nice thing to do now what we want to look at is the ways in which you can view your virtual machine in parallels we have window mode if we use the full screen keys which we discussed in the last video we're instantly taken into full screen mode if we choose Madly, we can go in and hit our Madly key. And what's happened now is the virtual machine is now a little window. And we can manipulate it. Think, well, that's way too small. So let's go ahead. And what we want to do is we want to change this if we can. Find out how to change it. I think we're going to need to go in and set the video options to make sure that that's set up the way we want it but the idea here is that when you get it to the right size that you want you can go ahead and well we don't want to do that 
and view you know your operating system as if it's its own little program okay so let's try this again and we're gonna go all the way to the end here slowly slowly okay that's good enough and basically you can control your entire operating system in a nice in a nice little window here and do whatever you need and then when you click out of it it fades or transitions into a nice see-through and you can customize the way manually trend or uh, trends loosens when she once you click out of it and this is a nice way to keep your operating system your Windows operating system at bay when you're trying to focus more on your Mac Let's get back into full screen or window mode get back into window mode here and which is nice let's look at coherence we're gonna go into coherence with the coherence key and what's happened now is that you have the start um, icon on your on your dock now and if you click it it opens up the start menu in which you can open up your documents and look how quick and easy and fast that opened up you can open up your my computer look how fast it opens up I love it you can open up Internet Explorer you can open up all your Windows programs what about media player we can go ahead and open up media player media player automatically opens up and we see here we're running our Windows operating system side by side with our Mac we can go ahead and open up our Mac programs such as mail address book iCal we can open up anything we want and everything runs nice and smooth and quick and uh, I want to highly stress how quick this is because in the earlier video it ran really slow and that's because I was using boot camp and we see here all these windows are open and it's really nice because if you use ex expose guess what Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, it all works in Expose. You can open up anything you want. Go to all programs, accessories. You can open up command prompt. What else you want to open up? You can open up anything you want. What about the music folder? Anything you want. And this is the power of virtualization. This is the power of parallels. Uh, desktop 4.0 this is the power of the parallels tools allowing you to open up all of this stuff and it looks cluttered because I've opened up a ton of stuff and I just want to show you just how easy and organized and quick and fast everything opens up we see here the my computer folder and uh, another thing I want to talk about it is the network drives here we have access to our Mac disk as well as our hard disk that's connected on our Mac we have access to that in our Windows XP virtual machine so you can use your Internet Explorer if you have Windows based programs go ahead and open that up we see here I have media player opened up you know this is awesome and this is the power of virtualization anything we want we can open up movie maker you have really basic programs, but if you have some really good programs for Windows only, you can go ahead and use that. And so, that's coherence. It's really nice, and we notice how it gets rid of the start menu. Believe it, in last version, they had to start the actual taskbar above the dock. Now, I could be confusing that with VMware, I'm not sure, but... The point is that Parallels 4.0 is awesome and coherence makes it easy for you to use your Windows XP, your Windows Vista, your Windows 7, your Linux operating system, your Solaris operating system, whatever you want to do, it makes it very easy and very quick. And I, I, the, the speed, I just am amazed at how quick this is and I, I have customized uh, my Windows XP to have one gig of memory and we see how quickly everything just opens up really nice 
So that's coherence. That's it for this video. In the next video, let's see what we'll be looking at. We'll be looking at file sharing. File sharing in Parallels Desktop. So that's it for this video. Coherence mode in Parallels Desktop 4.0 for Mac.